Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'll be covering the square root graph, and I'll show you the translation and reflection of a square root graph. I've got my graphing calculator here, GeoGebra, and I've got my four quadrants and four equations, as you can see right here. Now, I'll show you how to do this just in a sec, but let me show you the first example. We've, we've got the square root graph 5 root x, and you're probably asking, what is the 5? Well, the 5 is just the dilation factor from the x-axis. And it can be any number we like. Like, let's say 3. Or, and it gets narrower. Or we can do 2. And it gets even more narrow. But let's just use 5 as an example. Now, what if we wanted to reflect this on the x-axis? Then, we'll have to add a negative sign in front of the function. And it'll get reflected, as you can see here. And it gets reflected on the x-axis. Now, what if we wanted to reflect it on the y-axis? Then we'll have to add a negative sign in front of the x, and it'll get reflected on the y-axis, as you can see here. Now, the last one, to reflect it on the fourth quadrant, we'll have to reflect it on both the y-axis and the x-axis. As you can see, it's both negative. The y is negative and the x is negative. So we have to reflect it on both x and y, and you can see it gets reflected. You can see the negative 5 and the negative x. Doesn't this kind of look like the Olympic colours? That's pretty cool. Anyway, let me show you how to translate the graph now. Let's begin with the first example. We've got 5 root x, and what if we wanted to move this to the left or right? So if we want to shift it to the left or right, to shift it to the left, we'll have to add and anything we add will get shifted to the left and it's adding to the x-axis like this let's say 20 so it'll get shifted to the left now what if we want to shift it to the right then we'll have to minus 20 or whatever number you want and it gets shifted to the right now let's go back to our normal equation and what if we want to shift it up or down well you'll have to We'll have to, if you want to shift it up, then you'll have to add. Whatever you add will get shifted up and it gets added to the y-axis. And if you, want to, if you want to shift it down, you have to minus or sub subtract from the y-axis. And it'll get shifted down like that. And that is translation. Now we've covered the translation and reflection. Let's move on to an example. And I'll show you how to do this just in a sec. So we've got an example right here, y is equal to root x plus 4 plus 3. And we've got the translations of x and y. 4 is the translation of x axis and the 3 is the translation of y. So to find the x translation on x, we'll have to make x plus 4 is equal to 0. And we can solve this to find x is equal to negative 4. So we can see on the graph here, negative 4 goes that way. And to find the the y-axis, we'll have to the translation of y-axis. We'll have to see right here on the graph. You can see it goes up, and it's plus three, so it just goes here until here. So you can see the translations are this and that. So point is right here. The starting point is there. So we've got our starting point and. To find our y-intercept now, we'll have to make x is equal to 0. So let's write y-int is equal to, let's say x is equal to 0. So 0 plus 4 plus 3. And we can solve this and we can get y-int is root 4 plus 3. Now y-int, we can solve this further and simplify. So root 4 is just 2 and plus 3. And then y-int is equal to 5 and we can see our y-intercept is 5 let me just move this so you've got space and yep okay so we've got our graph and let's do this so our y-intercept is 5 so let me just do that properly that's our equation 
and that's how to do square root graphs. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe for more math tips and tricks.